For more than half of a century, there were four large murals. There were 16 by 10 foot uh, that hung in the rotunda of the Oklahoma State Penitentiary in McAllister. The rotunda itself is a very large circular room, very foreboding, and it's where all the cell blocks for the original um, uh, part of the prison would meet, and you walk through it as you first enter the prison grounds. Um, the murals depicted uh, any, everything from Jesus Christ to George Washington at Valley Forge, and uh, they were painted by a man named Conrad Moss, who was uh, a German noble who fled to America with his uh, uh, peasant wife. He married below his status and was disgraced and came to Oklahoma Territory before statehood and started a little homestead with her. Uh, the marriage wore thin after several years and Conrad Moss eventually murdered his wife. He was given a life of hard labor and after a brief stint in the Kansas uh, State Penitentiary, he was moved back down to Oklahoma when the uh, state pen here was first built around 1910. He began painting uh, on uh, chicory sheeting, the bed sheeting that uh, the inmates use there in their cells. And that's what these four murals were actually painted on. Um, Conrad became very well known for his paintings. He would sell them for $5 a piece or trade them for art supplies with other inmates or officers. Um, lots of people have his art, uh, descendants of some of those officers or prison staff and he became a very well-known and very well-liked inmate. Unfortunately, in the 1980s, the lack of a climate-controlled environment caused those paintings to deteriorate very rapidly over the decades, and uh, they were brought down in 1987, but unfortunately, efforts to restore them were just too costly for the prison system, and they've been languishing in a prison shed just outside of uh, one of the cell blocks for a long time. They were rolled up, which did not do well uh, for the paintings and they've taken a lot of damage over the years. Uh, local artists has been given them and they, uh, he's in the process of restoring them right now but really the efforts were kind of spearheaded by Craig Corgan, a former Washington County District Attorney who had admired them back in the 80s when he first saw them and um, as a defense attorney went back into the prison in the 90s and wondered what had happened to them. Uh, years and years ago, I was in the district attorney system. I was a district attorney, and I had occasion to go to the penitentiary and actually see the murals displayed in the rotunda. Came back several years later, probably decades later, as a defense attorney, made an inquiry, wondered where they were, and it just piqued my interest, and I went from there.